Okay, here we are. The car, as you can see, is tucked away in its uh, usual home. We are on the farm, Lucky Lake. And how many miles has this thing gone down the road in the, in the, in the last few years compared to this 173 kilometers? I said 1,172 kilometers on this one. Well, we haven't driven this car more than you know 10 miles at a time in the last. 40 years it might go to town, uh, you know, to the garage or to a car show or... Wow. Uh, but, yeah. It, so, it really went through the paces this time. And yeah. it survived. Mm -hmm. It did. So, <laughs> and how did you, I mean, I mean, talk, let's talk about the ride. Well, uh, it's a road surprisingly good. It uh, handled the bumps really well and it steered well. Kind of so-so on gravel, but on pavement, it, it steered like any car and drove down the road like any car should. Yeah. You've been pulling that trailer, but the air air ride, the suspension you put in the trailer really helped, you know. So mm -hmm. it did. All that effort putting into making sure it goes down the road, I think, was just a really good pile of effort because you know you got to survive this thing to be able to do well, right? So. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Uh, we had to put. Uh, uh, Coil overs on the back just to go down the road. Uh, the race shocks were just flattened out uh, with the weight of the trailer, so that helped. Uh, you just replace those uh, at the track, and the ride height was really good. <laughs> and <coughs> it continued to ride good. Yeah, a lot of people were talking about, yeah, how'd you find that road? Not too bad. <laughs> 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 you know, risk complaining, and it was okay, so yeah. But you know, I look at this experience, and if you, if you like being, you know, sweaty and, and cut and bruised, and uh, you know, uh, a lot under a little bit of stress, you know, I'm very, very tired. Then this is a vacation for you, right? This was fantastic that way, right? But if you do go and do this, spend some time figuring out uh, how to do this, you know, get down the road properly, and, and, and everything else, right? So, and that worked out in our favor as well. So, uh, correction on the on a number of gallons. We did some math and we think it's about 195 actually. We don't think we use as much as we thought when we factor in how, how much we have left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. We we did yeah. say at the track we used 238, but it it is more like 195. Yeah. And that's in, that's everything, including on the yeah. track and city driving or wherever we go. Yeah, yeah. And getting lost once. Yeah, getting lost. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those kind of things as well. <laughs> But it's said to turn left. Yeah, right, anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, memories. Just anything you found was different than, than, you know, as you wrap it up for the for this year? Well, uh, the memories, uh, the car uh, really was challenged, I think, during some of the hot days. And uh, it's just something you have to address for another year. How to handle that the heat, how to cool it just a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, memories of, yeah, seeing some really nice countryside and I'm a farmer at heart, so it's good to see some harvesting happening, bailing, uh, and, and some good crops, which we don't have here. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I think the, 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 the thousand feet extra, you know, height at Rimby and various things like that, that really made a difference in air quality. It was hard to get the time we wanted, so if you could address that, you yes. do well, yeah. you know, and then it would be better. Uh, just the, the old school cars versus the computerized cars is a really interesting thing. I almost like to have a separate class for just the old stuff. Because when you're, you know, other guys are making 30 runs and just going back and forth trying to knock you off a of second place, which is what was really happening on that last day. And we could only do so many runs. We borrowed two sets of nitrous from some of the people and the car was bobbling a little bit. The carburetor's got a bit of an issue, has to be tackled yet. So there was... We just, it was it, it was just tough, right? But, you know, we did it overall. Yeah, did. And uh, what a great memory. Yeah, yeah, really great. <clears throat> so, I guess that's uh, everything? Well, not quite. It's uh, like I'm thankful for, for uh, relatives, like my nephew Rod and my son Phil, who kind of followed behind and did a lot of uh, photography and videoing. <laughs> so yeah, that was good just to be with family and really good to meet people. I suppose that's probably one of the best memories is just meeting some of these guys with similar aspirations and, and, <laughs> and uh, 
things that they like to do and, and uh, the things that they've done to their cars. Yeah. I think those, yeah. those are good memories. It would be great to have more time to visit with them and talk oh. to them and, you know, just some, yeah. the mechanical mayhem that happened there all for all these teams is hilarious. I'd love to get more of those stories. But. Yeah, and, 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 that, and with one of these drag and drives, it, it, there's, there's just not enough time. Everything you got to change, you got to get ready. And then when you're done, you got to get on the road, and there just isn't quite enough time to... And people probably think it's just a matter of, oh, fine, you just get in the car, you drive, you race, you go, go to the hotel room, right? Simple, right? It's not. It is, you are going... We didn't get more than five or six hours of sleep every night. And, uh, you know, time for visiting and, and checking the guys out was not that great, you know? But, uh, yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah, worth it. Yeah, ready to do it again? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I am. Yeah. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah. In fact, on that note, uh, I just happened to have bought on an auction on the way back uh, a 1961 Ford Galaxy uh, uh, Country Squire wagon. So, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good times, Ray. Yep. Fun. Yep. All right. Thanks, for, thanks for all the 108 across subscribers. We had virtually none at the beginning of all this. So, uh, thank you for subscribing. We'll see if we have to throw some more content on during the winter as we change things. Who knows?